Welcome to Simple Stow tutorial. In this video, we will show how to use Simple Stow as a Baply viewer. We will demonstrate step by step instructions on how to import Baply and Movens messages directly in Simple Stow without having the ship's model. Normally, to import Baply or Movens in a stowage planning software, there must be a model describing the bay's layout to render graphical stowage plan. Starting from version 2.4, you can import Baply or Movens files in Simple Stow without having a model file for the particular ship. The program will render the layout of bays and graphical stowage plan based on the cell addresses data extracted directly from the imported EDI messages. Here is how it works. Let's say you have received a Baply message, but you don't have a model for that vessel. Start Simple Stow application. Navigate to the file menu and use the import Baply command in the import at effect sub-menu. In the browser window that will open, find the Baply file that you want to import. Most Baply files have extension .edi. By default, Simple Stow applies a filter to show only files with that extension in the file browser. If your file has different extension, change or remove the filter, selecting all files option. Select the file that you wish to import and then click the open button. Simple Stow will check if you have a model of the ship on your computer. If it is available, the program will render the bay plan and will proceed importing the Baply file. If the model for that ship name is not available, the program will pop up the unknown ship name dialog. In that dialog you have two options. You can instruct the program to use a substitute ship model. For example, a model of a sister ship if you have one. Or, you can select an option to generate the bay plan layout from the imported file. In this video we will review this scenario. As soon as you have made your selection, Simple Stow pops up the form, filled with the data from the imported Baply header. You cannot change or edit anything in that form. You can only review and verify, that you are importing correct EDI file. Click the import button to proceed. Simple Stow is working on the concept of the entire voyage scenario. For that, it needs port rotation for the current voyage. The program extracts ports from the imported Baply message and shows them in the left panel in the unrecognized port codes dialog. The ports are listed in the logical order. First, it shows the list of load ports, then, the list of discharge ports follows. Keep in mind, that only the last load port, and the first discharge port in that list, are definitely in correct positions. The real order of all other load ports and discharge ports may differ from what is shown in the list. There are no means to determine exact rotation of ports, based on the information in Baply file, except the fact that all load ports precede discharge ports. At that point you can select all ports and add them to the voyage. If you know correct ports order, you can rearrange them in the right panel of the dialog. It is ok to leave them as is, that will not cause a problem when importing Baply. Later, at any time, you can rearrange them using the main program interface. Monitor the progress of the file importing. On completion of importing Baply, Simple Stow renders the graphical bay plan, populates the cargo list with the container data imported from the file and shows the list of errors that it has detected in the file. Clicking on an error in the importing log, highlights the problematic container in the cargo list. Also, containers with problems are marked with the error icon in the cargo list. You can open the container properties and check the details of the problem. When done, you can close the importing log window or save the log for later analysis. At that point you can proceed using Simple Stow for cargo planning as you would normally do, using all available tools. You can analyze container list. Make adjustments to the stowage plan. Print stowage plan and cargo statistics reports.
when working on the plan. Just keep in mind that the bay plan layout is based on the cell addresses imported from the BAPLI file. It may not be entirely accurate and complete. Some sections of bays, and even entire bays, may be missing, because there were no containers for these positions in the BAPLI file. You can import additional EDI messages in that plan, as you would do in any normal bay plan. For example, you can import movements file, or another BAPLI file for an export in the voyage, following the standard procedure. Additional bays, tiers, and rows will be created in the plan, as needed, to accommodate extra containers. The extra cells added when importing EDI messages, are identified with dotted outline in the bay plan. With this function, you can combine different EDI messages in one plan, and then export any supported artifact message, using Simple Stone not only as a viewer, but also as a processor and converter of all ship planning EDI messages such as BAPLI, Movens, Copper, and Vermas. More details on importing and exporting EDI messages in Simple Stow, you can find in the Importing and Exporting Edifact Messages section, in the program's online help.